tomorrow morning all. It's that time again to get back out in this uh, mysterious field. Last week I had a Saxon brooch that I didn't even know I found. I knew it was old but I just didn't know the age. Someone commented on the video which then ties that in with a couple of other finds I've had out of this field so I'm going to go back to where I found the brooch. It's only a very small caterpillar brooch. Uh, I'm going to hand that into the, the flow this afternoon get back a load of stuff. So I may stick on the end of this video all the bits I get back later that have been in previous videos. So that be good. There's a lot of hammer coins in there that come back. Tokens and whatnot. But yet again this field is trying to keep me from coming in. <sighs> had a flat battery again. Well not again. Had a flat battery this morning. So that's lost me an hour and a half. So I don't know. It's a long drive here and it's a long work a long walk here, so by the time I get back to the car I really hope it's dark so I can go home. So, yep, I'm going to try something new with the Explorer as well, and I'm going to take all the discrimination off. Um, discriminate nothing, and apparently, the nulling can hide some targets, and if you can put up all the noises, it could be a good thing. So, I'm going to give it a go. I don't know how I'm going to get on with that, because it's a quite a bit of iron. I think it's just going to bomb bar off my head. <clears throat> but, I'm always willing to try something new. And if it means I find something cool, happy days! Right, I'm going to go and uh, set myself up and I'll meet you around the corner. Ah, let's film this one together. Let me just take my headphones out. It's, uh, yeah, definitely noisy. Um, but the good stuff, I've had a button and a bit of um, tin can. But they really stand out from all the dull noises that iron makes, but there's a lot of it. And it makes for noisy detecting. I'm going to give it a go. In here, it was a very nice sound, but... I don't know, it was around the tin foil sound. Certainly going to be tin foil. There you go, you can hear it. And I can maybe show you on the. Ah, no, it's up in the top corner. Top right corner. So we're going to. in this bit. Still in this bit. Oh, look. It's a bit of one of them tubes. Some people call them cow tubes. I don't know, some sort of medicine for animals. Cows here once upon a time, so yeah. <clears throat> I thought that was a really nice piece of decorated metal work, then, which I suppose it is decorated, but not what I want to find today. It's a bit of an old cap gun or something, definitely an old toy gun. It's got the word scout written on the other side, just along the bottom. <laughs> I'll probably find the rest of that later. Well, my next target, I plucked it out the side wall, just down here. Uh, that's about eight inches down, and I've turned the discrimination back on. I couldn't handle it, I'm a wuss. And, I haven't cleaned this yet. This just could be nothing. Could be an old cap or something, but it looked like a coin to me. Oh, man, it is! <laughs> 10, 12, that's... Is that two Roman numerals there? Twelve. Is that two shilling? Do you know what? I've just about rubbed that. I'm not going to. Naughty. No, I must rub it. Uh, he's facing to the right. Nice big crown on the top. I've got no idea at the moment. Not at this stage. Hammer coin. I'm not going to do the dance. It's too hot. Do you know what? This is only about my fourth target that I've dug. Oh, I've got to go and get some water shortly. I can just see stuff on there. Look at that. Guess who's staying in this spot? I knew it! Come straight up here on purpose. Hmm. Right, wicked. Let's carry on. Hmm. Not ideal. Definitely not Saxon tape measure. But, I am finding oyster shells in the surface 
could be a good time. And a hell of a lot of big, big, big bits of iron everywhere. So that's not helping, but... Hmm, let's persevere then. Hmm, I think it was a silver-plated spoon. Yeah. Not far from the tape measure. Hmm, yeah, there's a lot of brickwork and stuff, so... Whether people were chucking stuff in this corner of the field or whether this was um, a house. I did go on um, an old map website and there was a building, probably where I'm standing, but didn't say what the building was. I'm not sure if it was a barn or something, so. Hmm, well, I'm sure there's going to be more junk before there's more good stuff. Ah, <sighs> oh dear, already. It's a fork to go with my spoon. All I need now is uh, a knife and I can have lunch. Although it does have stamps all over it. There you go, not that they're probably much good now anyway. It's probably electroplated steel or whatever it was. Hmm, I might look them stamps up just to see if I can get a date off it, if nothing else. It'll have a date mark on it. Hmm, just I suspected, more rubbish. This is a heavily junky area, you really don't understand. I've never done anywhere so messy. But out of the mess comes some interesting weird stuff. Front of my bike. I've had bits of a toy car just now. That's oh, cool, that's old. Oh dear. There's broken bits of glass, bits of pottery, brick. So God knows what was here, who's been here. Alright, I will enjoy the sun anyway. Hmm, this is probably another reason I'm getting a lot of signals in this field. Big gnarly bit of bomb shrapnel. Point on that bit. I knew there was a bomb exploded here. There's not many bombs exploded in this area. Because you can check the bomb maps going back in the 40s. And uh, I actually know someone that lives not far from here. Actually very, very close. And they found the nose cap of um, a big 500 pound bomb in their back garden. Uh, when I was a kid, I remember that. So this is probably part of the same bomb. So there weren't many bombs in this area. Not really. As for overhead track and all, well, that's different, I don't know. But yeah, another bit of history. Oh, well, that was a good four inches, I think. A very flat military button. I don't know. Yeah, it's just been squished. Looks like one of those general service ones like I found last time here. But that was right at the other end of the place, so they got to get in the field somewhere and this is sort of the entrance to the field so yep see the crown and that in the middle yep so many different ages in this field it's uh i like it hmm just about to give this area a break because the amount of rubbish i don't know what this is i'm not sure if that was hinged it's got something on the bottom i think it could be broken Hmm, I'm going to hold on to that. I may as well take it with me to my flow meeting this afternoon. They'll probably tell me it's nothing, but you never know. Not sure. I've not found one of these for ages. 1945 sixpence. Look at that. In a field full of junk, and it really is junky. Wicked, well, yeah, that'll clean up nice. Two bits of silver, only two coins I found. Hmm, I do like sixpences, they're somewhere, I don't know, think about them. Small, silver, shiny. Wicked, good condition and all. Mm hmm, photos of everything. Well, not that there's a great deal today, but we'll be on Facebook later on. Hmm, it's like an old friend that's come back to say hello. Another musket ball. Don't get many. Too many of them in this field, but yes, got to be one today, I suppose. There we go, sitting on the surface. A uh, nice little horse brass there. Good thing with this one. Still got the tabs on the back. I'll never have one with the tabs complete. Well, I say two of them. Never really knew how they fitted onto the brass, onto the leather. So, kind of explains why they come off. It's only folded metal. Cool like it. I've got about another 20 minutes and then I'm heading home. Hmm, multiple signals. The first one was the horse brass, which was here. Stood up, turned the machine on. 
Uh, where is it? There it is. Another surface find. Haven't got it out yet. Looks like a coin. It is a coin. Is it a new one or an old one? Mm, good nick, I think. Tell you what, I'm not going to rub it anymore. It's not a penny. It's not, not, it's not big enough for a penny. Don't know yet. I'll leave that one for later. And there is another signal nearby as well, so... Uh, I may be turning the camera. Well, it was definitely a very strange hunt today. And it's only a few hours. I've got to go and get, get my lad from school, so I'll kill a few hours. Uh, beside the flat battery on the car, it would have been longer. But, yep, that's about it for this morning. Well, this afternoon now. Um, yeah, it's very hard work. That is one big pile of rubbish from today. Um, the unknown coin was a 1968 10 pence. That, I think, turns out to be a James the First shilling. Lovely. I've not got one of them. Although I did have a James the First um, coin week before last. And that's the 1945 George Sixpence. That is one nasty thing to find. I think it's something to do with those um, cow tubes, but that is a needle. So I presume that's what they injected into the cows. And that's the end that went on the tube. Yeah, I didn't like finding that. A um, bit of motorbike, there's a bit of toy car, there's another bit there. Cut two two shells, military bun, toy gun, shrapnel. Not sure what that was. Kept holding it for a minute. Just a bit of cast bronze, spoon, fork. I'll be back tomorrow, so I might um, go check this lot over. It might be two videos in one, or I'll have my finds from the uh, flow back today, so butt them on the end instead. We'll see. But I will be out tomorrow for quite a bit longer. And uh, we're going to hammer this little area again, see if we can get up some more hammers. But yeah, right. I don't see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, at the end of the video, I did say I would see if I could put my fines from the fines and an officer that I get back on the end. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got back, I think, 15 or so of the 30 I gave him. And he's done all the ones from... There was one field I did back in May, I think it was, where I started my... Silver Hammer coin streak, and uh, I've got them all back and my Romans. Um, so yeah, I've got two Romans from like the third century, which would be that little tiny one and that one there. One was a Constantine and one was a Victorious. Then we've got the 10th to 11th century uh, stirrup mount. Oh, I love that. Uh, apparently there was another half to that. That's 10th to 11th century. Uh, there's a little harness mount, um, 12th to 14th century, two buckles, one was tinned and one was silver plated. Um, there we go there, 14, 15 hundreds, they're really nice, I like them because they're small. And that was a bar, what do they call it, a bar mount, that is absolutely tiny, weighs less than a gram. And that was about the uh, 1200s. That one on there was a what was it a buckle plate? That was it. Two spectacle buckles of 15, like 15, 1600s. I think they were 15th century and 16th. So they were cool. And then over this side we've got a 16th century thimble. Big one with triangles stamped all around it. Two lead buttons. They're just medieval buttons. The coins were cool. Uh, actually, that that mount he actually had to send away to the person that wrote a book on mounts. So apparently it's a bit of a special one. The first hammered hammered or well, the Jetton, 14th century Jetton. So that would have been around the where are we? Emperor the third, Richard the second era. Um, it's got a long cross on it. 
Then we've got three Edward Pennies. But he said the interesting thing about these three, although they're all found quite close to each other, that one was minted in Durham, that one was minted in Bury St Edmunds, and that one was minted in London, which seems to be a common one. And they're all in very fine condition. So that's what I've got back at the moment. Uh, I'm going to get the rest of it back. I've got more hammers to come back. The Venetian silver um, and such like. They're going to come back in January. I handed over some stuff. I handed the hammer coin over. That went. He was happy with that. Um, and from the same field, I think it might be in my last video, not this one, I'm number four, he said I had a part of a spur, medieval spur. It looked like it snapped off the boot. That was an odd shaped thing. Uh, what else did I have? Anglo Saxon brooch, that was correct. Anglo Saxon pin, I can't remember what you. Oh, it was a mount. It looked like a long pin. That was in my last video. That was an Anglo Saxon mount. And I gave him a big lump of copper alloy. Um, for my father's day permission, if you look back on that, apparently I found another Bronze Age ingot. That's a part of a Bronze Age bun ingot. Um, well happy with that. There could be more, he said there. Look out for them. And a lead, a, what I thought was a lead mount with a face and a starburst on it. Same field, father's day permission. Could be a puller, a pal buller, is that how you say it? He's taken that one away. He said that one's very interesting. I really hope it is because it's on my bucket list of things to find. Right, back out tomorrow. Same, well, same place as today. And I thought I'd just show you. You can go back through the videos and you'll see all of these pretty much over a couple of videos. May, June-ish. Um, my Hammered Street. These finds are in there. Um, and then my next lot will come back. I might put a link on the end to this where these came from then you can just click it and away you go thank you very much for watching hope it was interesting any questions please ask um oh i'll take pictures of all of this bung it on facebook and then uh, you can have a close look cool see you later